What is going on everyone? Welcome back. First things first, season two of House of the Dragon has been nothing but phenomenal. Episodes one and two are already out and they have been tremendous with episode three coming out tonight. So here's a quick recap and analysis on episode two. First things first, if you're a fan of Sir Kriston Cole, you just need to leave. Like the things this man is capable of doing in this show to make himself unlikable. First of all, bravo to the actor. Um, the fact that he's getting so much hate IRL um, is a little disappointing, but his acting is phenomenal to make me dislike him so much. Now, he's not on the Ramsey or Joffrey level, but he's creeping up in top three. He's past Cersei for me. But with Sir Criston Cole becoming Hand of the King, this will not be in favor of the Greens as he just kind of does a lot of stuff out of spite for his hate of Rhaenyra. Um, I don't think he's very tactical with his thinking. Yes, I think he's a great fighter and a skilled fighter, and he's trained Aemon well and others, but uh, the dude's got some issues, and I don't think that's what you want when it comes to being the hand of the king. While we're on the topic of the greens, let's talk about how terrible Allison is. She is probably the worst mother uh, I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Not only does she fail to comfort her children, she also tries to cover up the stuff that she's done wrong. Um, instead of consoling Helena, she decides to, by the way, what you saw, no, 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 console her. She doesn't care. Helena's just upset because her baby boy has been beheaded and you're just trying to cover up your affair or whatever you want to call it with Sir Criston Cole. And on top of that, her oldest son, Egon, is losing his mind obviously because his son is dead and was brutally murdered and what does Allison do? Nothing. But hey, she does do Criston Cole again and again. Now I would like to say that the Greens are gaining more favor throughout the kingdom but when you lose your hand to the king, Otto Hightower, out of a rage um, and you replace him with someone who does not have much of a tactical thought going on at all in their brain, it's just hatred. Yeah, I don't think this can be super beneficial for you guys. And also, you're allowing Lars Strong to become more powerful and have more influence throughout all of King's Landing and essentially all of the kingdom. So, which, that's going to be pretty interesting to see as the season progresses. As in, it's either going to help them or it's going to lead to the ultimate demise and absolute downfall. Now, I'll stop hating on the greens and let's talk about the actual heir to the throne, our girl Rhaenyra. So, as we can see, Rhaenyra's pissed when she finds out. And then we see that her and Damon kind of get into it and he's gone. Um, I hope he comes back. You know, big Damon fan over here. I think he's going to recover from this because, yes, he wanted Eamon dead. Everyone wants Eamon dead after what he did. But he relied on a rat catcher and a crooked knight to slay him and they killed the wrong child. So, yeah. But I think all of us are hoping that Damon is going to accept Rhaenyra as his queen as he flies to Harrenhal and other places to prepare the army for their battle against the Greens to take back the throne that was usurped from them. Also sprinkled in throughout the entire episode were little storylines starting to build, whether we see Alan of Hull and his brother Adam, I think is how you say it. And then we also see little storylines like with the blacksmith and his sick daughter. You know, it was the same blacksmith that was promised money by Aegon in the first episode. So, little things starting to build here. I think there's a lot of planning going into the House of the Dragon. It's not going to be like Game of Thrones where you're going to have storylines just dissolve and just ignored. But we'll have to see where it goes from here. And now, one of the biggest things of episode two, Sir Eric versus Sir Eric. Yeah, brothers, twins, twins in real life too. Um, you have Eric 1, who is still with the Greens, and Eric 2, who is with the Blacks. And Eric 1 was sent down to Dragonstone to portray his brother Eric to try to slay Rhaenyra. And he comes pretty close. But who comes to stop it? Our boy Eric. Which the dynamic of that fight was pretty cool because you can't tell who's who. They're wearing the same thing. They have the same haircut, same beard length, everything. Then we see that the right Eric wins. If you're on Rhaenyra's team, he wins and then he falls on his sword as he apologizes to his queen because he just had slain his own brother and I don't blame him. How is he supposed to live with that guilt of just slaying his twin brother who he has done everything with his entire life? But with only two episodes in, House of the Dragon season two has been nothing but phenomenal. We've seen a lot of anger issues, a lot of mommy issues, already multiple brothers, blood spilled. Tensions rising, and that can only mean one thing. Battle's coming soon. 
Let me know what you guys think of House of the Dragon Season 2, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.